Hello, Music Bear here. Uh, there's been some problems for new users to use VST instruments. So I'm gonna show you here how to use VST instruments in Elements and also how to insert a VST effect in any kind of uh, instruments in Elements. So let's start with uh, um, uh, VST instruments. And a VST instrument uses a so-called uh, instrument holder, the VST stoop. And we find this stoop uh, here. Just move this guy down a bit. If I can't scroll, the no, I can't scroll that up. Move this guy down here a bit. This guy here, yep, a little bit, bit more, like that. Um, you can see it's a VST host for using VST plugin within Elements. Uh, so let's just drag that in, like that, and drop it, and hey, outside the view. Brilliant. And we can close here again. Like that. See, this here is the stoop. So there's no instrument in it yet. We have to insert an instrument in it. And we can do that in several ways. Uh, the right way is to click this uh, folder symbol here, and it will open uh, your, uh, uh, your uh, what's called directory that you have defined in settings uh, for your VST instruments. And at the moment, the correct um, directory for that is your uh, user. Uh, area in uh, this is in Windows um, in documents users and then your elements and samples uh, in samples because it is uh, possible to use uh, subfolders in samples so that's where you should put your VSTs in subfolders um, we'll open this guy here and I've just choose this guy here is called the MDA uh, piano and I say open and you can see that says no uh, BST loaded now it says MDA piano and if I play it sounds like that so I have loaded MDA piano in a VST stoop and I'm ready to use it as any other instrument in uh, elements I could also have done it like this, but I, this way I only um, recommend if you have problem loading or finding a um, uh, a certain DLL. Uh, if you do not um, use use this, always use this. That is the correct way. But you can actually also do it like this. You click here in my computer, and here we have the uh, DLL for the MDA piano and I have to find a drop place uh, here and I can drop it into my um, song editor like that close that again and open up uh, outside and again you can see it says MDA piano and again it works perfectly. I also have two interfaces actually. One for the first and you can see I can toggle these on and off. The other one is up here. So I have to find that and say then that interface also was closed. Use the buttons uh, for, uh, for things like that. And always remember to um, before you load, especially if it's a new um, VST you are trying to load, remember to save your project before you do that because if there's a fault um, or flaw or a bug even then you haven't uh, lost anything of your project um, so remember to save before you load uh, a VST right that was a VST instrument now we're going to put in a um, effect and why not put it into uh, the, this uh, MTA piano? So I'm going up here and I press 
the FX um, tab and I have here an option for open uh, sorry for add effects so I click that and I get this folder um, or rather uh, sorry this uh, interface this window and you can see here it says name and it says type those are sort fields so if I click here I can sort in alphabetical uh, order or I can so sort as uh, type and um we can put in here well, well, I'm gonna put something in here like an MTA overdrive perhaps. Why not? So I outside view it says okay. Um, trust me, it does. So I do like that. And now you can see I have here this effect um with the uh, the name and also I I can um, assess the um, the controls uh, the buttons by clicking here so I can go into um, the uh, uh, the buttons where uh, the, the, the buttons that you can automate that is the smart thing with uh, Im immediately you see this kind of buttons you know oh I can automate that because those are uh, element buttons right so uh, if I have a um, let's track down here and put in a, an automation track like that, I can take this guy here and I can hold control and I can move it up here and I can drop it into my automation track and hey presto I'm uh, ready to automate this button here that is actually part of this effect. Uh, let's see, it's not s certain it's going to sound very well, but let's see how it sounds. Yeah, well, you can clearly hear that it has changed completely. Let's give it a little bit more drive here. Mm, and, uh, can I get, yeah. Whoa. That's a profound effect. Well, let's take it off here and listen again. Add it. And as I said, it was automatable uh, because we had it in here. So let's just try to do that. I'll put in a linear and uh, let's see, uh, like that, for instance. That should. Here! Now! look at how the drive button here will change when we play yeah so that works all correctly and now you know how to uh, insert VST instruments two ways and how to insert a VST effect inside uh, your uh, well any instrument it doesn't have to be a VST instrument any instrument and you how to use the dials um, or buttons or sliders or whatever kind of uh, controller them there had to be on the uh, uh, on the actual um, uh, effect true elements own dials everything is always or we could say translated or depicted shown as these typical LMS dials uh, and they can be dragged into your automation track that's all I have today um, and uh, take care of everything and yourself and your loved ones out there in this horrible times and uh, bye bye.